Hey everyone, Justin here from CIQ, and in this video, I'm gonna address a question I've gotten from a number of you administrators out there. Um, I've spoken with a few of you who have a situation where you need to stay on a specific version of Rocky Linux for longer than the normal six month development release cycle. Um, if you've ever tried to do that, you know it's kind of a pain. Um, typically when a new version comes out, let's say 8.7, which is out now, if you have an 8.6 box and you do an update, you're gonna be an 8.7 box. So to solve this, CIQ now offers up a product that we call long-term support or LTS. And this service provides uh, critical important security updates as well as uh, priority bug fixes and enables you to stay on that version of Rocky Linux for up to 24 months. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to um, can manage your subscription, create keys, subscribe your system to the, the LTS repository. And then I'm gonna also show you like, what does it look like when your system uh, gets updated from 7.6 without LTS? And then we'll show you what that same upgrade looks like when you're on LTS. Sound good? Let's get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you what it looks like when you try to update a Rocky 8.6 box without LTS. For a time reference, it's currently March 2023 and the current release of Rocky is 8.7. So let's jump into my Rocky 8.6 box and verify the version. I'll cat Etsy OS release and confirm that this is indeed a Rocky 8.6 system. I'll now run a DNF update and we can see that we have a bunch of packages that are ready to be updated. That's definitely a lot of packages, which is a good sign that this update will bump me to the next release. We can even see references to 8.7 here in the package list. So let's confirm the update and we'll see what the system does. Okay, not too bad. That took about eight minutes and through the miracle of editing, you didn't have to endure it. Uh, so let's recheck that Etsy OS release and confirm that the system has been updated. And as we expected, we can see the system has indeed been updated to the latest version 8.7. And for a lot of people, that's perfectly fine. But as I mentioned before, there are users who need to ensure their certified apps and services run on a specific stable release. So before we run through another update with LTS, let's jump in and take a look at the platform that provides this LTS functionality. After logging in, you're presented with a list of your active subscriptions. Any custom repositories or services you purchased through CIQ will be listed here. For our example today, I'm gonna to focus on the CIQ LTS for Rocky Linux 8.6 repository listed here. By clicking the subscription name, this opens up a window that provides instructions for basic setup, advanced setup, allowing you to customize the repo on your system, as well as instructions for setting up Aptainer and Docker images. For this video, I'm gonna focus on the basic instructions for a traditional Rocky system running on a VM or bare metal server. In order to connect your system up to the repository, we need to generate an access key. This key is used to ensure that only the systems you select can connect and utilize the LTS repository. Let's click Generate Access Key and give it a name. I'm gonna use this highly descriptive name for this demo, but you should choose a name that's meaningful to you and your organization. Now click Create and you'll be presented with your own generated key, which you wanna store in a password or key manager for safe storage. You can click the button to the right and copy the key to your clipboard. And when you've recorded your key, you can click Done. If we want to see a list of all the existing keys, we can click the Access Key button in the upper left-hand menu. This provides you with a view of all the keys that have been created in the portal. From this view, we can add or remove access keys. So now that we've seen the interface, we're ready to go register our Rocky 8.6 box to the LTS repository. So let's bring up a fresh system and once again validate that this is an 8.6 system by catting at COS release. Cool. Looks like we're good to go, so let's bring up the portal and start working through those instructions. Step one is to install the CIQ release package. Again, I can copy the command to my clipboard by clicking the green button located to the right of the command. I'll paste that into my system and hit enter. In a few seconds, we get confirmation that the package is installed. Step two is to install the CIQ command line interface. This allows us to later register the system, so let's once again cut and paste the command and press enter. Step three is generating the access key, which we did earlier, so we can go ahead and skip to step four. Step four instructs us to use the CIQ utility, which we just installed, 
to enroll the system using the access key we generated. If you follow these steps in order, the key will automatically be inserted into the command, enabling you to simply cut and paste. And finally, step five instructs us to enable this specific repository for our system. In our case, we can see that we're enabling LTS for 8.6. Again, we can cut and paste this into our system and hit enter. And that's it. Now that our system is registered to the LTS repository, let's see what happens when we update. The first thing we notice is that there are far fewer packages available to update. This is because all those 8.7 packages are now excluded. Let's kick off an update and zip through the update process. And once again, we can validate the OS and verify the system is still on 8.6. We can even try another DNF update and we'll see that the system is indeed up to date. The system will now stay on 8.6, receiving critical backports and security patches that CIQ provides as part of the service. So as you can see, this isn't really complicated. It's not rocket science, but for those of you with this requirement of staying on a specific version, it's super important. And we now have a solution for you. So if you have questions or um, are just curious about what we're up to here at CIQ, um, reach out to me directly or leave a comment below. Um, I'd love to have a conversation with you about what you're up to, what you're doing, what problems you're trying to solve, um, and just maybe kind of introduce you to who we are and kind of what we offer. Um, yeah, until now, until next time, or until whenever, uh, my name is Justin Burdine, and um, I hope to see you in the next video.